Hi everybody, I am here to do a plan with me. Okay, so let's pop over to the second week in our new planners. Okay, and this is so far, this is how this week is going. So I've added a couple of things in here. So I'll be posting an after the pen spread over on Instagram. Let's see, probably tomorrow, maybe Monday. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm so sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. So it was New Year's Eve and my kids were up until midnight, of course. And we were, that's like my prime filming time, or that's kind of the schedule that I'm on is like filming late at night. So because I try not to film during the day, it's either like before they wake up in the morning or when they go to bed, because my kids do virtual school and they're here all the time and all of that. So I try not to film like during their waking hours because I want to spend time with them. So I did not get a chance to film yesterday. So I was going to try, <laughs> I was going to try and like pull an all nighter. I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this, but I could not do it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So the base of my spread or like the real like chunk of the decor is going to be like this purpley orange. I think this was like from the mom life planner or something. Let me know. And this is the mini color story. I don't know what iteration it is. They don't number them anymore, <laughs> but this is the, this is what the cover looks like. And this is the mini. I really like mini stickers in my dashboard planner because I feel like they fit really well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start thinking about what is going on this week. And then I'm actually going to need, I'm not going to pull anything from that book just yet. I'm also going to need this working remotely, not to mark anything necessarily working related, but they have these, it has this cute little flags in here that are around the same color palette. I just noticed though, there's only three of them left and I'm going to need more than that. <laughs> I guess I could use, I could use the little stars. That would be cute. Those are cute. So maybe we'll do those instead. Let's see what else we have. And then, yeah, of course, this week is back to school. Oh, these little flags with the stars are really cute too. I kind of like those. Oh, and there's a couple more. Okay, so I can use my regular flags, I think think. And if not, I'll pull in, I'll pull in something else. There are, there are options in here. <laughs> first things first, I want to go ahead and try to label my categories. So this one is always a to-do list, but I wonder if I can give it a cute little, I like to give it a cute little label. Self-care pajama day. That's hilarious. Grocery delivery. Oh my goodness. I did not even realize those were in here. <gasps> That is cool. Okay, rescheduled. I like those. Okay, big ideas. Today's, oh, today's list. Oh, I guess it's this week's list. This week. Okay, I, yeah, we'll put this over there. And I'm going to use my tweezers. Look at me putting a gray sticker down first on my neutral spread. <laughs> I promise this spread when we're done with it will have color. I promise. Okay, and... I also wanted to say, because I like to share it when I get inspiration. So I've been on Instagram a lot and seeing a lot of different people's spreads. Let's plan two, the number two together. I did a spread similar to this and I was like, that is so cute. And I'm always looking for more inspiration on how to use my dashboard planner because I mean, I have a pretty good handle on how I like to decorate it and how I like to use it functionally, but I'm always looking for new ideas to make it more creative. Let's plan together inspired me to do this spread. So, so yeah, I just wanted to give, I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. Oh, and I am, I have kind of an idea for how I'm going to use these now and I've updated my Franken planner. I'm going to test it out for a little bit and then I'll give you guys a new walkthrough. But basically I took out my social media planner. So I don't think I need a whole planner for social media right now. I'm going to be using the, just the social media sheets, like, I'll, and I'll show those to you probably over on Instagram or something. And then I'm going to be using a content planner. And then anything that I need to do is going to go on like my main weekly and that kind of thing. I have the room using the dashboard and I, and I just, I feel like it's going to work better for me having everything like on one page. And then I moved my, like one month of my work planner, my teacher planner into my Franken planner. So now I literally have everything in one 
one planner. I still have the other work planner over there, but I do have everything over in one planner. So I'm gonna use, like all of that to say, I'm gonna use these boxes now as like, I had done this before, but kind of like a preview of each of those sections. So if there are things that I need to do or big ideas for social media, if there are things I need to do for, I think I might make this like a work to-do list, although there is a long to-do list in there. So maybe I'll put work and social media down here. This will be a running to-do list. Wellness to-dos go in my recovery planner, which I'm really liking. And so maybe I'll make this a cleaning. So maybe I'll do cleaning, work, and social media. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to think about that though. But I was, all of that to say, I was looking for a like a cleaning one in here because there are a lot of there are a lot of random little labels in here that I didn't realize that there were okay virtual meeting grocery delivery report due pajama day I think that's so cute get it done exercise time report due big ideas this week today's list brain dump I like these categories that they have in this book I haven't actually really looked into this one very much okay but this book does have this flaw here this is killing me why why are these functional stickers on glossy paper <laughs> like why would we do that I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay, so what we're gonna do then in these areas, I am going to make, oh, I'll have them be focus areas. That's a good idea. Okay, so we'll do a purple over here and then we'll do an orange one and the focus will be teacher stuff, work stuff. And then the focus will be, will be social media in this one. Because, and so the reason why I'm kind of combining social media with my everyday stuff is because I feel like when I was using a social media planner, I didn't use the monthly to begin with, and I just don't have enough stuff to be writing in like an everyday weekly planner. So I don't need a whole other planner for that, I don't think. I'm gonna try to find a cleaning sticker. I wonder if there's one in here, like a label that says cleaning. I mean, that one says clean house. I could put that up there. That's actually kind of cute. Chores. Oh, this one's cute too. Is this one in? Oh yeah, there is a matte one. Okay, so let's do, and I'm just trying to look at all of the different colors in there. Okay, so there's like blues and purples and pink. I'll just do pink. Okay, so we'll make that one chores. I found that last week, or this week, I guess still, I wrote everything in one to-do list, but I'm realizing that I probably had more to-dos that were not cleaning related. And so I wanna have a whole section for my cleaning stuff. So I wanna have like a chores. And I like that this is chores too, because now I can put, I can put other things in here if I want. And I don't mind like covering up a couple of these bullet points. I would hope that I don't, <laughs> I don't have a ton of cleaning and chores to do. So, oh, that actually already looks so cute. Okay, so focus and <laughs> I don't know what my focus needs to be in social media just yet, but let's pull in some, and this, again, this color story box doesn't have everything in here, but it turns, it's pretty cute. So I want to do, let's see. Just trying to look at all of the different options here. Okay, so this, I like this one. This says create a happy life. And I also really like the horizontal boxes that go in the mini for my dashboard layout. I feel like it's really cute. That, oh, I like that a lot already. So looking, I like to use this space sometimes as a preview to next week if I have big things going on, which I do. I have a chiropractor appointment and it's Brian's birthday. Let's look at the monthly. And this is why I use my monthly. So you can kind of see that I'm referring back to it. Those are my two big things. Yeah, okay, so we've got two big things that week. And so I'm gonna use a couple of these little boxes. Mm, okay, let's just see which ones, see which ones we have in here. Okay, so we'll use this purple one and or actually, here, I'll use this blue one and this pink one. So I'm gonna kind of layer bo this box over here. Or should I layer, I think I'm gonna layer the darker one. Okay, so there's that. And these will be my preview to the next week. That's cute, okay. Let's see, I like to have like a cute banner over the top and I 
think I'm going to use one this week with words on it. I like this one that says keep moving forward. I know. Oh, I think it might be too big though. Yeah, that's going to be too long. That fits exactly probably a mini box. So that one is too long. I liked that one though. Now it makes me kind of want to pick up this whole book. <laughs> I'm really liking these stickers right now. Okay, let's see. There were a couple of banners in this one also that are similar in color. So I wonder, those are cute, but I really don't like that they're on the glossy paper. Weekend vibes only. We live for the weekend. <laughs> and that's the thing. So you, I'll talk about this in a minute, but we have our back to school, or not back to school, but it's time to go back to school after break. Winter break is over and I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know, I feel like I'm excited to see my students. I really, I truly, truly am very excited to see my students, but I feel like it went by so quick. I probably could use one more week to really be fully rested and rejuvenated. Hashtag adult life. <laughs> but I really am excited to see my students and hear about all of the things that they did over break. So that is going to be cool, but I am feeling like I'm, I'm not quite ready. I could, I could be ready, but I'm almost not quite ready. So I'm going to try this banner here. We're going to see, even though it has the clear backing. Oh yeah, that'll be fine over the gray. See, this is why we do the neutral dashboard. Thank you, Happy Planner, for giving us a neutral dashboard. I'm pretty sure this will have to be my planner for the whole year. I saw some like sneak peeks of what was to come for the upcoming release. And I'm not sure if I love it. I'm not sure if I love any of them. So this, I think that I might just be riding with this planner for a while. Oh, okay. And then I need two like pink boxes. And this is the jewel tone boxes. I think it's supposed to be jewel tone colorful boxes. I don't know, but it's jewel tone boxes. And are those navy or black? I can't tell. I think they're navy anyway. Okay. So I'm going to do one like pinky color box. And so on Monday we have back to school. And then on Monday also is my cousin's birthday. So we'll do one pinky one and then we'll do one like orange one to kind of go with the spread. Cute. Okay. And then those will be my two things for Monday. Little, this one is a little crooked or that top one is crooked and it's making it look crooked. Cannot tell. Okay, there's that. And then I will put something in here. We'll do this, that there. And then on Wednesday the 5th, what do I have on Wednesday the 5th? Oh, Delilah has art. So we're going to actually just give that like a whole, we're going to give that its whole box, like <laughs> its whole box. We're going to give that a whole box. And I haven't used a purple one. I've used a lot of pinky stickers in this, but I haven't used a purple one. So we're going to put this down, but I also wanted to use this sticker. So I think I'm going to flip it and I'm going to have this part be on the top, like that part on the top in the corner. And then we're gonna cover, I'm gonna actually end up covering quite a bit of that with the box, but it'll look cute. Okay, the time is now for Delilah to have art, yes. <laughs> okay, and then on the eighth, we have a hair appointment for Delilah. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, we'll do one that says, let's do, I do love this. That's cute. I will probably, we'll do, how about another couple of these little like flowery things? Those are cute. And then maybe I'll put one of these little like seedlings here too. So I have been very excited to use some bright colors in my spreads. And I feel like January is one of those times when you can really put anything in your planner that you want. Like there, there's not really like a season, like you could do winter, but it's not really very seasonal. So I feel like I almost feel my most creative in my new planner in January, which is fun. Okay. And then I think I'm going to flip this one and have it be like this. Okay. And 
then let's see <laughs> there was a sticker in here oh yeah strive for progress not perfection i love this and i actually want to put this oh that looks a little busy i want to use this sticker because my word of the year is progress but I also don't want things to look too busy. Maybe like right here. I know, I'm gonna take, I have an idea. I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna put it over here. I just didn't like the line drawings, like all of the different stickers with the line drawings all together. Okay, this one off, hopefully. Let's stick this over here for a second. And I let me know down below in the comments how your new year is going so far. We're only on day two. And did you do anything for New Year's? Did you have plans? Like, how did it go? Oh my gosh, I'm totally ripping this. I have had the worst luck lately. Let me know. I wonder if the Happy Planner paper is different and it rips more easily. I don't know, man, but I kind of feel like it does. But let me know how your New Year's was. Did you do anything? Did you have plans? Did you stay home? We stayed home and both of my kids stayed up. I was not expecting that to happen, but they totally did. And that's fine. It was totally fine, but it was really cute. Harrison kept like sitting up and trying to stay up. It was pretty adorable. I couldn't believe that he stayed up. I was expecting him to knock out, but I hope that means, I hope that means that they're all going to sleep in today. I'm going to use this life is beautiful sticker and I'm going to put that here and we're gonna put life is beautiful he oh well that's kind of a lot of quotes there so maybe I want to do life is beautiful on top of this orange yeah that'll be cute okay so we'll put the orange guy there or maybe we'll put it here and then that still leaves me room that I can add a plan or two if I need to that looks cute and then what else do I have? You are powerful, brilliant, and brave. You are magical. I like this watercolor looking one. And then maybe we'll put like a functional box because I feel like I can always use function in my planner. And if it's Friday, it could also be something that goes, you know, goes the whole, spans the whole weekend. Let's see, can I fit this? I think I can. That looks cute. I actually really like how this is turning out. And I know I said I was going to use less boxes. And it's going to be more simple, but I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling how this spread is turning out. Okay. You're doing great. You've got this. Yeah, let's do you're doing great. So let's do the you're doing great over here. Cute. Okay. And then that feels pretty balanced to me. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my trusty VB pens. I'm gonna use this one, I think, and this is the new, it's actually the holiday one. I can't remember the name of it, but it just came out and it was like the mystery holiday pen, but it's really cute and it kind of matches the spread. So I'm gonna use her, she's very cute. And then I will be right back. Can't find a time where I can tell ya what I feel now. Okay, and so that is kind of the spread, but I'm looking at this and this gray one, it's just not working for me. And so I saw another, okay, I'm gonna change this to this little like tealy guy. So I don't know, I can't do just one gray sticker. It would be different if I had other like neutral stickers in this spread, but that's just not working for me. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these stickers, and maybe it's just this sticker book. I don't know, man, but let me know if you guys have had 
Maybe, maybe this is the kick in the pants that I need to actually invest in undo. <laughs> I was just spoiled before with whatever, whatever was going on before. So we'll do this week over here like this. Yeah, that will be cute. And I mean, of course we all use stickers, so a little ripped paper under a sticker doesn't truly matter, but okay, I like that. I like that much better. So that is the spread for this week. Thank you so much for being here in a plan with me. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. You guys are amazing. You're incredible. And I just, I love you so much. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin and I would absolutely love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below. I talk about how to get started in your planner. If you are new, like if you're new, new to the planner community, check out my playlist with the planner, happy planner one-on-one -on -one videos. And of course these can be applied to happy planners or other planners if you are using a different system, but feel free to check out how I plan and advice that I have for getting into our wonderful community of decorations of planning. So thanks in advance for checking all of that stuff out. And if you are one of my current subscribers, whether you've been here recently or you are an oldie and a goodie, thank you so much for being here. I really couldn't do any of this without you. Thank you for allowing me to hit such cool milestones and to continue to grow this community. You guys are the best. You are my best internet friends and I love you so much. <laughs> and if you want to find me in any other places, you can check me out at creating in chaos underscore official. I am about to hit hit 9,000 followers over there. So if you would like to help us grow that community over there and be a part of Instagram as well, feel free to do that. I do share some spreads that I don't plan in long form, like in a video form over here. Some things that I just take a picture of and share over there. And I am going to be starting to do reels over there. So stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned and make sure you follow over there if you're not already. And then you can also check me out every Monday and Friday over on the Spice Chaos podcast that I run with my friend Leanne Spicer. So check us out. All of that stuff is linked down below as well as any affiliate codes or anything like that that you may want to use. So thanks in advance for being here. And by the way, you guys have fun today.